Hey, so today I want to uh, take us down to a new charging station. This is the first Shell Recharge fast charging station in the United States. Um, it's only two 50 kilowatt units, tritium units, that you probably most commonly see with charge point things. So it's down at Boston's Logan Airport. I noticed it pop up on PlugShare a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's been on and offline since right now the uh, the listings say it's only one um, of the two units that's online but we do need to charge and we're down to about 27% state of charge here so we've also had some battery conditioning so it's been the first vestiges of winter starting to show up with battery conditioning climate settings preconditioning the car all that good stuff today is a very pleasant 50 degrees so I've been waiting for this day actually to take us down to the recharge station because it's not so much fun trying to fast charge in freezing temperatures with cold soaked batteries but this is a good temperate fall day um, it looks like we're gonna have a station available so let's hit the road Okay, um, both of them are lit up, that's gotta be good, so we'll get plugged in and check them out. So here's the uh, the Green Lots app, Shell purchased Green Lots, um, I think it was earlier this year, I know they have new motion in the UK, so you've, uh, you've seen a lot of um, Shell recharge stations pop up over there fully charged did a video two years ago where they said they were piloting it so this was you know something that's been in the uk for a while at least i didn't actually get a chance to use them while i was over there but i did see a few stations even in the northern towns that we were visiting um so here you can see nuria logan airport available it actually says both of these are available now on the uh, plug share app the feed earlier said uh, only one was available so that's a good sign um Anyway, let's see if it costs anything, if it's free. I think I'll just plug in, see if you can do it without the app, because that's obviously preferable for people who don't want to download stuff, but let's take a look. to either 80% or max, which I assume is full. 24% state of charge. It's a pretty basic display, but it gives you the information you need. Time, state of charge, and kilowatt hours put up. There's a plane. Okie dokie, but down to the business of charging. Um, now, 18 kilowatts, what does that mean? Is it the battery temperature? I guess we have to plug in Mr. ODB and check it out quickly. Okay, so according to Talk Pro, battery is at 48 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature is really comfortable. I mean, 55 degrees Fahrenheit is not far off where it would like to be. Um, maybe the battery needs to be up further into the 50s, but it's pretty close. You can see the battery heater is running, so I guess it needs that to go to the conditioning. That is that is a bit of a surprise. I really didn't expect to need uh, any energy. 
going for battery conditioning at this point, maybe because it's uh, sat cold overnight, it was just below freezing, 32, 31 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's really not cold, I mean that is a an unfortunate startup rate for, for this kind of temperature, um, but we'll monitor it a little bit, I'll, uh, I'll leave that on whilst I go and grab my uh, coffee and snacks and we'll see what we come back to. Hopefully this will pick up to more like, you know, closer to 30, high 20s at the very least, uh, kilowatt power level. So I should have put Talk Pro on from the start here, but we jump into it about 5% added to the battery. Um, we can see as it starts to ramp up here, the battery heater is working overtime to uh, get that battery temperature up. And then when we hit about 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 40% state of charge, it starts to taper down in terms of using the battery heater and uh, puts that juice towards the charge and we eventually get up to a normal state of uh, power so here we jump back into it okay so whilst i was uh, having a bite to eat and a coffee it looks like that picked up we certainly have a uh, much higher rate of power here okay so we're up to actually what we would expect that's um, after the step down, because we are now, looks like we're above the 55% mark quite easily. We jumped up a good 30% state of charge after that initial slow start. Talk Pro here is saying the battery is up to almost 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So there's obviously no more need for battery heating. But this is more like what I would expect with the um, the temperature that we have here, 53 degrees on here, 57 degrees on here, either way, that's a pretty comfortable place for the bolt to be, a little colder than its optimum, uh, you know, 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, what it prefers, but it's certainly not freezing. I suspect that the slow startup um, at around the 18 kilowatt mark was down to uh, the battery being cold soaked overnight and just kind of realigning its uh, algorithm so that it knew the temperature, how long it had been there, and just getting it up to speed for a, uh, a fast charge. Maybe I should check the other unit. Probably a good idea. And then have a quick chat about shell recharge and what this means or what it might mean for fast charging in the United States. Now we we've made it up to 61% after 45, 46 minutes. I'm gonna switch to this unit and make sure that one's working as well. And then uh, we'll just have a stroll around the area and discuss shell recharge. On max, press start. Already knows I'm at 62%. 50 kilowatt CCS and Chadamo. Oh hey. Decided to let us have 46 kilowatts here. It was worth restarting. Probably drop down pretty quickly. Yeah, realized it was too high. We are past 50, 55%. You may not have significant power. Um, that kind of shows you. <laughs> I mean, it really should be capable of more than this. This is on the Bolt TV, not the charge station. Um, it wants to ramp you down. It has those fixed taper points. And uh, obviously there it started up, pushing up to uh, 46 kilowatts, but it realized it's past the uh, 50, 55% taper. First taper point where it cuts back from uh, a maximum of 55 kilowatts to this lower rate. Um, and then it will go down again once we hit 67%. 65 to 67%, something along those lines. It'll drop down to about 23, 24 kilowatts. 
Um, so let's talk about shell recharge and what this site means for the uh, the rollout of this particular brand of fast charging. Not sure how the sound will go, but uh, I will reconsider my um, initial assessment of this being a parking lot in an airport. It's, uh, it's right by the Harbour Walk. Really quite pleasant. Nice place to spend a 20-30 minute charge session. Assuming you don't start up cold soaked, but uh, it's not it's not a place for You know an elongated charge stop. There's not really a restaurant that you'd sit down and spend 45 50 minutes um, The units are only 50 kilowatts, so they're not going to get you up to a higher state of charge If you're in something like an e-tron I-PACE or one of the new models that comes out 2020 um, But I do I mean it's a good addition. I'm glad that uh, someone or a company with the resources of Shell is getting into this it feels a little bit odd pulling into a gas station and then filling up but that's no different to the session we had on petro canada you know these are all uh energy providers if you want to believe what they say alternative fuels new energy all that kind of stuff whether you believe their uh publicity seeking and uh press releases that's uh, up to you but you know and the, the reality of it for ev drivers is we have um new stations going in you know new fast charging they put two in so obviously there's redundancy there uh, i didn't have any problems i have been looking at them the last week or so they do seem to be going on and offline but maybe that's just the data feed so um all in all you know a cautious thumbs up i guess it's uh, nice to have them anything that introduces more dc fast charging is a good thing um the gas station isn't necessarily the ideal place to you know juice up especially on 50 kilowatt chargers good so far Thank you for the free juice. We'll have to see pricing, obviously. Yeah. Okay, well, that seems to be that. There's an error on the machine saying to unplug. I'll take that as a, uh, a sign that the free juice has run out. Still seems to be working, just aired out. Okay.